in a filing that came out about five days ago, Microsoft basically said, look, we've lost the console war since 2001. Yep. We've never won the console war. We have always been behind Sony and Nintendo. Um, and they, they say what percentage of the market that they estimate their stuff at. And it's like 16 to 21%, depending on the, the area that they're talking about. Um, yep. It has consistently ranked third of three behind PlayStation and Nintendo. In 2021, Xbox had 16% of the total market. Uh, they Leaving 84% up for grabs, and we talked about this, PlayStation, Nintendo are basically neck and neck, so they basically each got 40-something percent of the market, while uh, Xbox has I buckus. Just, I just find it funny that they said, quote, this is in a document. Court the, filing. Court filing, the FTC. They want this deal to go through so bad that they're just openly like, we We've suck. been getting our asses kicked. <laughs> Listen, they use the word dominate. Quote, Xbox has lost the console wars and its rivals are positioned to continue to dominate, included, including by leveraging exclusive content. Uh, like, you put, you admitted that your competition is dominating you yep. in a court filing because you want this deal to go through so bad. And, and confirming what a lot of us have kind of known for a long time, having lost the console wars, Xbox is betting on a different strategy than Sony. Xbox generates its profits through game sales and Game Pass, mm -hmm. uh, not console sales. It's because Xbox sells its consoles at a loss, subsidizing the purchase of the hardware in hopes of making up lost revenue through sales of games and accessories. And again, specifically because of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Game Pass and the software they're selling. Through oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Game Pass is like a quarter of a bill a month or something like that that they make. Yeah. And subscriptions. It's and here's the thing, it's, it's not a bad solution. It's a great deal. Um, I, listen, for the, the Xbox Series S, I'm saying for 300 bucks, very capable console. It's not a bad console. Pretty good value. Small, looks good in your entertainment center. It's not overly engineered on the outside mm -hmm. like the... PS5? The Transformer <laughs> PS5. Oh my God. Uh, it's just, it's a good price for something that works really well. Um, I've been fiddling with a Series X. I borrowed one of the Series X's from the shop. I took it home because mm -hmm. I was fiddling with it. Um, and I, the Series X is a solid console. And actually, I'll be honest, it really is uh, it really is it's games. They're right. It's games. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they started doing that from the very beginning, right? With the original Xbox, they said that they took like a hundred dollar hit every mm -hmm. time someone bought one. They mm -hmm. sold a hundred dollar loss. Worked out for them. But I don't think the Series X. I'm trying to think. This is the first generation. I'm trying to think back because I'm thinking of the Xbox One. Yeah. Um, there's not really a killer app for the Series X. There's just not. I mean, every console manufacturer is looking for that killer app, right? Like, what is the... I think they thought Halo Infinite would be it. I thought they, think they thought Halo 5 was going to be it. Yeah. And they screwed that up. I mean, Infinite's fun, but there's no point where I'm like, this would have been great on a Series X instead of an S or instead of my PC. Mm-hmm. Um, killer Instinct would be a good game to release during all the hype for fighting games. I think Killer Instinct would be great. Doesn't Microsoft own Rare? I think they own Rare. They do. Killer Instinct has been uh, free to play since the uh, Xbox One, early Xbox One, maybe late 360 days. I remember uh, it came up because I used to love Killer Instinct on the SNES. And yeah, I was like, somebody's in the what? chat going, "What's that power game? That's Xbox exclusive." That's my point. <laughs> See if these. It's fun, but <laughs> that's my point. Is you? We don't even know. Like, there, there's just no great apps right now. There is nothing. So there is. There is at every stage an app that I'm there's a there's a game I'm gonna go buy a PS5 for. Yeah. At some point. I am really close with Final Fantasy 16. Okay. Um Kingdom Hearts will be it for me. Kingdom Hearts 4 you Kingdom for sure Hearts. will be the one that I buy. And is a, that exclusive to the PlayStation? It will be. It will be. Come on, brother. Why? Okay. They're banking on Starfield to be that number one. Yep. You know, I I 1,000% agree with you. I also think it's why it's going to be on Game Pass day one. Yeah. You're going to be able to play it for free on Game Pass. 
Um, I mean, I started getting Game Pass originally to try Sea of Thieves because I didn't want to spend 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. It was whenever they're like, get it for a dollar. And I did. And I was like, yeah, okay. But also, I don't like recurring bills. <laughs> yeah. But hey. Uh, I bet the Steam Deck is outselling Xbox month to month. Right now, probably. Ooh. I don't think it'll catch up. I'm going to Google that, though. Uh, Insomniac's Wolverine. That'll be a P that's, I think that is a PS5 exclusive, too. <laughs> yeah. So, Xbox... I mean, Microsoft's telling us basically what everybody already knew. They're not, they're not giving us really new information. They are confirming a lot of what everybody kind of knew. Um, and somebody else in the chat brought up too, like Microsoft has always been more of a software company than a hardware company. Uh, Windows Phone, Zune. Rip. Um, <laughs> hey nerds, thanks for watching. Visit gamersheavenpnw.com for our merch store, which you can get cool shirts like this and rep some of my awesome art. Also, like and subscribe for more content so we can make more videos for you.